Did you know that Vietnam is the easternmost country on the Indochina Peninsula, known for its bustling cities, rich cultural history, and mouth-watering cuisine? This vibrant country stretches over a thousand miles from north to south, featuring a diverse array of landscapes from the terraced rice fields of Sapa to the bustling waterways of the Mekong Delta. Vietnam's rich cultural tapestry is woven from threads of ancient dynasties and recent history. Its cities echo with the clamor of motorbikes, hawker stalls, and lively markets, all underpinned by a resilient spirit that's as captivating as it is inspiring. And let's not forget the food. From the aromatic pho noodle soup to the iconic banh mi sandwich, Vietnam's culinary scene is a flavorful exploration of its cultural identity. In this video, we will guide you through everything you need to know before you embark on your Vietnamese adventure. Planning your trip to Vietnam requires a bit of knowledge about the country's weather, visa requirements, and health precautions. As you start to plan your trip, bear in mind that Vietnam's weather varies greatly from north to south. In the north, winters from November to March are cool and dry, while summers from May to August are hot and wet. Those transitional months of April and October offer a more pleasant climate. Down south, it's hot and humid, year-round with a rainy season from May to September. But don't let those showers deter you, as this period offers lower prices and smaller crowds. Now, let's talk visas. As requirements can change, it's crucial to check the current specifics for your nationality. This can easily be done online or by contacting your nearest Vietnamese embassy. When it comes to health, it's wise to consult your doctor before your trip for updated vaccinations. If you're planning to explore rural areas, you might want to consider anti-malarials. And here's a tip. Avoid drinking tap water in Vietnam. Stick to bottled water and don't forget to carry some hand sanitizer with you. In the bustling cities, air quality can vary, so using a face mask might be a good idea. Switching gears to currency, Vietnam uses the Vietnamese dong and cash is king here. While credit cards and digital payment methods like Apple Pay are gradually gaining popularity, you'll find that many places still prefer good old cash. Bargaining is a common practice in markets and with some street vendors. Don't be shy to haggle a bit, but remember that shops with fixed prices are not the place for this. A respectful greeting in Vietnam involves a slight bow with a smile. When visiting temples or pagodas, make sure to dress modestly by covering your shoulders and knees. While tipping isn't mandatory, a small token of appreciation is always welcomed for good service in restaurants. Navigating Vietnam's busy streets can be challenging, especially with the abundance of motorbikes. Be cautious when crossing streets and move with intent. For longer trips, consider using reputable taxi companies or public buses and trains if you're on a budget. Lastly, don't forget to try the delicious and affordable Vietnamese cuisine. Learn a few key phrases in Vietnamese, and consider downloading offline Google Translate for more complex communication. Remember, always consult your doctor for updated vaccinations and health advice before traveling to any foreign country. Uh, when it comes to money matters in Vietnam, understanding the local currency and the art of bargaining can save you a lot of hassle. Let's delve into the Vietnamese currency first. The official currency is the Vietnamese dong, and you'll often see prices displayed in thousands or millions of dong, so don't be surprised. While cash is still king here, credit cards and digital payment methods such as Apple Pay are steadily gaining ground, especially in urban areas and tourist hotspots. Now on to bargaining. It's a common practice in Vietnam's bustling markets and with street vendors. It's all part of the experience. But remember, it's not a battle. It's a friendly negotiation. So keep your cool smile and start by offering about half of the asking price. You'll soon find the sweet spot between a bargain and a respectful payment for the seller's hard work. Mastering the art of bargaining can help you get the best deals while shopping in Vietnam. The Vietnamese culture is rich and diverse and understanding local customs can enhance your travel experience. Let's dive into some of the cultural nuances you may encounter during your journey. Firstly, when it comes to greetings, a slight bow with a smile is the most respectful and common way to say hello. This small gesture can go a long way in establishing positive interactions with the locals. Moving on to dress code, Vietnamese attire is generally casual. However, it's important to be mindful of your clothing when visiting religious sites. Temples and pagodas are sacred places and it's considered respectful to cover your shoulders and knees when visiting these sites. Lastly, let's talk about tipping. While not mandatory, a small tip is often appreciated for good service in restaurants. 
You can consider leaving a little something extra to show your gratitude, but remember, it's not an obligation. Vietnam's culture is deeply rooted in respect and courtesy. As a visitor, it's essential to be mindful of these customs. Keep in mind that a little respect goes a long way. You'll find that the locals are incredibly friendly and welcoming, and they appreciate visitors who take time to understand and respect their traditions. Respecting local customs and traditions will not only enrich your travel experience, but also help you build a good rapport with the locals. Getting around in Vietnam can be an adventure in itself, especially if you're not used to the country's bustling traffic. One of the first things you'll notice is the sheer number of motorbikes. They are the lifeblood of Vietnamese transportation, zipping through streets and alleys with a seemingly chaotic rhythm. But remember, when you're crossing the road, be confident and move with purpose. The motorbikes will flow around you like water around a stone in a stream. Now, if you're not ready to hop on a motorbike yourself, taxis are a comfortable and affordable option. Stick to reputable companies like My Lin or Vina Soon to avoid being overcharged. And always agree on the fare before your journey begins. It's a good practice to have your destination written in Vietnamese to show the taxi driver just to avoid any language barriers. For the budget-conscious traveler, Vietnam's extensive network of public buses and trains is a godsend. They may not always offer the comfort of a taxi, but they'll get you where you need to go without breaking the bank. Websites like 12 Go Asia can help you book your tickets with ease. So, whether you're weaving through the traffic on a motorbike, sitting back in a taxi, or navigating the routes of public transport, you're sure to experience Vietnam's vibrant energy every step of the way. Remember, when crossing the streets in Vietnam, walk decisively and with intent to help traffic anticipate your movement. Vietnamese cuisine is a gastronomic delight, and knowing a few phrases in Vietnamese can make your culinary adventure even more enjoyable. Let's dive into the flavors of Vietnam and learn some language basics to help you savor the experience. First up, the iconic pho. This aromatic noodle soup is a breakfast staple and a national treasure. Whether it's pho bo with tender slices of beef or pho ga featuring succulent pieces of chicken, it's a must-try. Then we have banh mi, a delightful fusion of Vietnamese and French influences. Picture a crispy baguette filled with a medley of ingredients like pâté, pickled vegetables, and grilled meat. This humble sandwich is a symphony of flavors and textures. Now onto the language. Vietnamese may seem daunting, but a few simple phrases can go a long way. To say hello, you say jin chào. To express gratitude, it's cam on. And if you want to respond with you're welcome, you say kong sao. When you're exploring the food scene, you might find it helpful to ask Ko Che Kong, which means, is it vegetarian, or Ko Vit Kong, which translates to, does it have meat? Remember, a little Vietnamese goes a long way in making your food journey in Vietnam a memorable one. Before we wrap up, here are a few additional tips to make your trip to Vietnam smoother and more enjoyable. In this digital age, having a map is a no-brainer. But here's a tip. Consider getting a local SIM card with data. This will help you stay connected and navigate your way around the country with ease. If you prefer to go old school, downloading an offline map is a great alternative. Now let's talk about photography. Vietnam is a stunning country with picturesque landscapes and fascinating culture. But remember, respect goes a long way. Be mindful when taking photos at religious sites. It's not just about the shot. It's about the respect for the place and the people. And speaking of people always ask for permission before photographing them. It's a simple gesture that shows respect for their privacy. Lastly, don't forget to carry some cash. While credit cards are becoming more widely accepted, there are still many vendors, particularly those selling street food or souvenirs, who may only accept cash for smaller purchases. Having a small amount of cash on hand can save you a lot of hassle. With these tips in mind, you're now ready to embark on your exciting Vietnamese adventure. Safe travels! Before we end this video, we have a small request. If you found this guide helpful and want to see more like it, please subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. This way, you won't miss out on any new videos filled with travel guides and tips. And if you've been to Vietnam or are planning a trip, we'd love to hear about your experiences. Do you have any additional tips or maybe some questions? Leave a comment below and let's get a conversation started. Your engagement helps us create more content that you love Thank you for watching and happy travels.